And I'm gonna tell you my favorite feature of this mower is that I don't have to mow my lube. Today I'm really excited to bring you the Luba all-wheel drive perimeter wire free robotic lawnmower. This thing's like a Tesla. It's zero turn, all-wheel drive. All right, so you notice I said perimeter wire free, meaning there's no installation of wires or anything like that in your lawn. Basically, you set this thing up with your phone, you drive it around your lawn like an RC car, and you set the perimeter of your yard, okay? It's controlled via an app. One feature I really like about this lawnmower is that it actually cuts in straight lines. So if you can see my lawn, this has already been cut by the Luba. It's all straight lines. Let's check out this robotic lawnmower. Let's start from the front. So the front here, this is a front bumper. Well, it's also a built-in sensor. So this is like a big button. If this runs into something that's in your lawn, maybe a tree or some kid's toys, it will actually will stop it. But it's not just controlled by that. These are actually infrared sensors, okay? So as it's running up to something, it'll actually slow down. So it won't just run into it full speed with this. It'll slow down, and then as it hits it, it'll kind of see if it's actually there, and this will indicate it needs to go around it. The suspension, in the front, so this is actually extremely rugged. Um, this can handle up to a 75% slope. So if you have a slope yard, this will have no issue with it. So the front wheels don't turn like a car, okay? Instead, it's like a zero turn lawnmower. So if it needs to turn this way, basically these wheels kind of rotate in the back. And the way that these are, is that this allows it to basically easily turn without destroying your lawn. As it work back, it's got these buttons on the side. So again, this is if this hits something, it'll notice it's an obstacle, it'll go around it. I have two little buttons up here, or two little, they look like buttons, but it's actually a rain scent. You can control it within the app if you want it to mow in the rain or not mow in the rain. So this is the blades on the bottom. This is a 16 inch deck, and you can see it's got two wheels and you got four blades per wheel. Okay, so to replace the blades, super simple. You just got these little screws. So I know this thing has tons of technology. It's got these little cool lights on the side. You can have these turned on or off at night. So if you want it to mow at night, it's actually extremely quiet. So it's possible you can mow at night. All right, so now since I stopped it, it's telling me to hit the mow button and hit the start button and continue mowing my lawn. And I'm gonna get a drink. Oh, see? See how those infrared sensors work? I just wasn't sure if it knew, if it liked me or not. All right, let's move on. We'll run for about three hours. So you're probably wondering, well, how does it charge? How does it know when to charge? Well, it handles all that. So it does about half of my yard. Then it goes back to the docking station and charges. So what's a docking station? Let's check it out. It's actually called the bait. So this is the actual base. This is where I have it kind of temporarily set up for me. It's real simple to install. You just run these stakes into the ground and you have to run this to a outlet. So this is actually pretty simple. It'll actually come back, dock, charge, and do its thing. I mean, not much to really go over with this. They do sell an attachment. It's a kind of called a garage attachment that will cover your Luba. So the next part of the system that makes this thing perimeter wire free and actually makes it like simple to set up is this important piece here. So this is the RTK. This is the thing that actually communicates to the satellites and sets up the perimeter of your yard and kind of controls it and tells it where to go. All right, so this thing needs a clear view of the beautiful sky. You can see where I have mine. You want it to be as high as possible. This can actually be mounted directly with the base um, or separate from the base, okay? In my case, I have it separate, but it's actually very important that this has a clear view of the sky. One of the things I ran into, no big deal, was the first day I was setting it up, it was actually raining on and off all day, super thick clouds. And when I was driving around the perimeter of the yard trying to set up the perimeter, I kept losing connect um, and that was because I had this installed under here and it was very, very cloudy out and raining and I probably shouldn't have been doing it, but I was super excited and wanted to get this thing set up. Only thing you need to take from this, this thing needs to be mounted somewhere as high as possible and clear view of the beautiful sky. All right, quality of cut. So I'm gonna let the results speak for itself. So if you look here, the one thing I like about this robot and it's the only one on the market right now is that it will cut in a straight line. It's not gonna be like just driving around your lawn, just cutting random design. And you can control that within the app. So you have it cut this way, have it cut that way. You can actually set every degree. So you have to cut it on an angle if you wanted to. It's completely customizable in the app. So maintenance, uh, I mean, I'm not sure how much maintenance there possibly could be. There's eight blades inside replaced every once in a while, but there's no gas. 
nothing, no oil that you need to need to replace every couple, no filters, nothing like that. I mean, the maintenance should be pretty much nothing. And it charges itself. It does everything automatic. If you're wondering about cut height, so I like to cut my grass as high as I can normally, but it's really nice. In the app, you can basically control the cut height. So you can see it goes 1.2 inches, and I have mine currently cut at 2.2. All right, let's say you have a lot of different areas that you need to mow. You know, you gotta go over maybe a walkway or something like that. Really no issue because you can set up multiple zones with this. So I have one zone out here because it's one big piece of basically grass. But if you had like six different areas of grass or patches of grass, it, no problem. You set each one of them up in the app with a perimeter and then you can have them all mowed at the same time, or you can mow them at different times, and you can use a scheduling feature within the app to do that. Also may have areas you don't want cut, you don't want it to go around. What you could do is set up no-go zones. So for example, that playset over there, I have that set up as a no-go area. The shed, around the shed, I have that as a no-go area, so that when it plans out how it's going to cut, it takes that all into consideration, kids or pets, it has all the safety mechanisms basically built into it, so it's not gonna run them over. It has that front bumper that'll bump into them uh, and go around them. It has the sensors, and you can control all the sensitivities within the app as well. So you can have it being super conservative, so it won't even go near it, or you can have it kind of go up and maybe slightly bump it to see if it's actually real and go around it. Again, all control within the app. Now the app has every feature you possibly could probably think of um, I am gonna do another video on just the app because there's just so much in there. Unfortunately, when you have something this nice, you have to worry about theft, right? So this does have a lost mode. So if someone does come take it, it'll basically notify you within the app. When it's reconnected to the network, it'll tell you where it is, kind of like an iPhone. Um, so you can go get your Luba back. But they thought of it, everything. And I'm gonna tell you my favorite feature of this mower is that I don't have to mow my lawn anymore, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so what are the downsides? to something like this. What's the downside of a robot lawnmower that mows your lawn, you don't have to worry about it, it charges itself, uh, it does everything. Uh, probably the only downside would be maybe the cost, but you really have to think about your time. Like how much is your time worth? And it's not like your, your lawn's not gonna grow. It's gonna keep growing. You're gonna have to keep cutting it. Either you're gonna cut it or you're gonna hire someone to do it. I'd say how much is your time worth? Let me show you one of my favorite features. Side lights. You can turn them on and off with the app. That's pretty cool. Another nice thing uh, with the app, basically it'll tell me how much of my lawn has been cut. So we can see here, we've mowed about 73% and we've about an hour left. Total time to mow this entire lawn back here is 235 minutes. Now you might be thinking, wow, that's a lot. Who cares? You're not doing it. The best part is that I don't have to do it. Battery is at 13%, which is below the 15%. So I just heard the mow deck go off and now it's working its way back to recharge itself. You think it's very odd that it's running this way and not just going directly to the charging station that way. But I have it actually set up to follow the perimeter so that it's not basically adding an additional line through my lawn. So it's gonna follow the perimeter and go back using one of these lines to recharge itself. I really like that feature because I'm not gonna have all these wonky lines in my lawn. And you know the best part of it is I don't have to cut the lawn. This video was sponsored by Bemotion, but they didn't tell me what to say or have any influence on what's in this video. As you can tell, I love this thing. So if you wanna pick yourself up a Luba, I'll put a link down below, it's an affiliate link. That just supports the channel. But I'm Mike, Family DIY TV. Please hit that subscribe button, please hit that like button, and I'm out.